Genesis 6, the world is going about as bad as bad can go. And exactly how bad was it? Well, St. Moses writes, The Lord saw that the wickedness of man on the, was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heaven, for I am sorry that I have made them. That's bad as bad can get, to the point where the Lord is wanting to destroy everything that he has ever created completely. Shake the edge of sketch clean and start all over again. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Now, favor is grace. The Lord sees Noah and acts in grace. The Lord tells Noah that there's water coming, so he better get building a big box of wood, made out of wood in which the Lord is going to save Noah, his family, and the animals that he gives to him from death and destruction. The Lord gives Noah everything that Noah is going to need to be saved from the mouth of the Lord. And as crazy as the plan sounds to Noah, as crazy as the world around Noah may have found him, I love verse 22 of Genesis 6. It's about as simple and to the point as you can get. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. Noah did this. Dear saints in Christ, that is faith. Faith that gives way to action. It was not Noah constructing the ark that saved Noah. That ark was a just a big wooden box covered in tree sap. No, the Lord saved Noah and everything in that ark. The Lord spoke. Noah believed the word of the Lord. And Noah acted in faith toward his neighbor, namely his wife, his sons, and their wives. So think about that for a moment. The Lord used wood, water, and faith to save. Sound kind of familiar? Almost 2,000 years ago, there was a piece of wood covered not in sap, but in the blood of the one who hung upon that cross. There was also water on that wood from Jesus' side. God gives you faith as you were brought into the ark of the Holy Christian Church a building which most likely contained wood. And you were baptized with water and the word of the Lord to save you from death and destruction. The Lord has always used his word, water, wood, and faith in his gracious act of saving. Like in the days of Noah, in the death of Jesus for you, and just as he has saved you in your baptism. You too have found favor in the eyes of the Lord, just like Noah. 